Here we're going to tie a fly called the BDE Drake. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take uh, some tail material, which I'm going to use some uh, micro fibets, and you can color them with a permanent marker to make them black. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about uh, half an inch or so of micro fibets of a clump of seven or eight. And then I'm going to trim the butt ends of the micro fibets at the uh, back end. So I have about a quarter inch. Then all I'm going to do is just burn those butt ends. And what I've got are all these little round uh, pieces on the end of the butt ends. And those are going to be so that the tail does not fall off when I tie it onto my shank. And here we're using a Jason Sweden extended body uh, pin here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our thread and the tag end I'm going to stick in the top portion of the body pin that I'm going to wrap back up onto itself just like so then we're going to tie in these tails and they should have a little round bubbles on the end of them I'm going to tie these in here at the the back of this pin just a nice loose wrap to capture them and those little round bubbles are going to help keep my tail from sliding off there we go so we now have our tails tied in now we're going to take some foam I'm going to use a tan color here uh, you can use green, olive uh, brown, whatever color drake you're tying. We're going to take a strip here, it's about three inches long. We're going to fold it over right in half. And then I'm going to take my scissors and when I have it folded here, I'm just going to get in here with my scissors. I'm going to trim out a little portion of the foam so it's tapered. And I'm going to take this foam I'm going to put it on each side of my pin here and I'm going to slide it right up to my tail. And I'm going to take a loose wrap with my thread, get it right into place here. And I pull it straight up, loose wrap the thread and then I tighten down and do four wraps. And I'm going to take that thread and I'm going to work underneath my foam, take another wrap and I'll go around the entire foam again three tight wraps and I'm going to go underneath the foam and all I'm trying to do is just work my way back on this body so I can tie in these segments and I try to space them out a little bit farther as I get farther back on the foam once I have a nice long extended body you can trim out a little bit of this foam if it's in your way we are now ready to whip finish and it helps if you use a long whip finish for this part I whip finish right on the last portion of the body and then I'll actually go underneath the foam as well a couple of wraps Then you can pull tight trim out the excess then we can pull off our body Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull on this thread here just to tighten the body up. And 
but I'll also show you another little trick. We can hold the body here with our pliers and just pulling on this thread will get the body to either straighten out or we can loosen up on our thread and keep a bit of a curve or you can have it curve the other way if you pull on it nice and tight. Kind of a neat little thing about the extended body is it is adjustable. And you can now color that uh, foam body if you like. If you want to make it dark green, if you want to put spots on it, you can adjust. So now we're going to take our pin out of our vise. We're now going to add our hook. I'm just going to use a standard dry fly hook for this part. And I'll adjust the field of view here so you guys can get a, a better look at what I'm doing. Okay, now what we're going to do we're going to start our thread. And we're going to take it back just a little more than halfway, about three quarters of the way down the shank of the hook. And we are going to take our extended body here. And you want to line it up so that it is about one and a half times the shank of the hook. We're going to do a nice loose wrap with our thread. We're going to bite right down and secure it into place. And you can trim out that thread that was holding it in place. And we can trim out our foam. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to slightly taper this foam. As I tie it in, and that is going to give me just more surface area here to bite down with my thread. I really want to make sure that that is on there nice and tight and it won't come out. All right. Zoom out for you here a little bit. We're tying a nice big green drake, size 10. See a little piece of thread here I'm going to trim out before we get started. Now the next thing to do is to tie in the hackle. For this I'm going to use a whiting rooster cape. I like to use a, a natural dun color. It has some natural kind of speckling to it. I'm just going to measure out a nice sized feather here. On this drake you can slightly oversize if you like. I like a nice nice leggy with uh, some big hackle on it. So once you've selected a good size, we're going to prepare that hackle just by stripping off some of the fluffy base feathers. We're going to tie this hackle in. We're going to take our thread all the way back again. Now we're going to tie in body material, which is going to be peacock hurl. I'm going to take three or four strands of that. We're going to tie this in right to in front of our hackle. Then we're going to take our thread all the way up here to the, to the eye of the fly. We're just going to build up a uh, thorax or a body with this hackle. If your hackle or if your peacock splits, we'll just try to get to the point where it was splitting and you can twist it into a rope and that'll help keep it from twisting like it was. There we go. Build up a nice even thorax. Alright, when we get up to the front, we're just going to capture that P 
peacock, a couple tight wraps. Get in there nice and close with your scissors. Now we're going to take this hackle, we're going to do one wrap right at the back end here. Some stragglers there, get rid of those first. One wrap right at the back. Then we're going to slowly spiral our hackle forward, spacing out each piece of a uh, hackle. And right when I get up to the front of the fly, I'm just going to capture that hackle, a couple tight wraps. And I'm going to get in here and trim out the tip of that hackle. Now we're ready to tie in the wing. And uh, for the wing, we're going to use some McFly Lawn. And we're going to use a, a gray color. You can actually use a brighter color if you like, if you want to make it high vis, but gray is more of the natural color. So I'm going to take a piece here, and I'm just going to double it over. And I'll kind of work them together. You can use a brush if you, if that'll help you. And I'm going to take this piece of McFly Lawn, lay it right on top of the shank of the hook. I'm going to do a loose wrap over the top of it and then tighten down. Nice tight wraps. Once I get three or four tight wraps there, I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to take my whip finish. I'm going to whip finish right on top. Pull it tight. Trim out your thread. Now we're going to trim a head on this McFly lawn, just a little kind of fuzzy head on it. That'll be the head of the drake. And then this will be the wing. We want to trim this wing much longer than our hackle about the length of the shank of the hook and I like to trim it at an angle so that it looks like a uh, mayfly wing and that will allow you to see the fly when it's floating down the river it gives it a nice high profile and uh, you can add a little bit of super glue or head cement to the uh, front of the fly and that will keep it from falling apart and pulling loose and that is a pretty simple little drake, not too tough to tie. It's called the BDE Drake. I think it was developed by Ben Fremensky. And you can find all the materials for this fly, including the body pins, on our website, in the riffle.com. And if you're watching this via YouTube, there is a link below this video in the description that you can follow to our website. And there you'll find recipe information as well as the materials to uh, tie the fly. That is the BDE Drake.